Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are looking into some of the timeline battle tier three in Mortal Hall. One of the best free to play character versus some of the most premium characters in the game, like Nor, like Sentry, Jing Ray, and Molecule Man. Just to see if Hall is still usable in the current timeline battle or not. Since there's a lot of heavy hitters were introduced to the game, like Nor, Sentry, and Molecule Man. So I guess it's very interesting to see this comparison, whether the F2P Hawk can take down those PvP meta or not, especially Nor and Sentry. So before we get into some of the gameplay, let's quickly go through my friend's build. So shout out to Papa Midnight for lending me his account to do this PvP content. So this is how his Hawk looks like. Uh, around 3500 ranking which is not too bad and then the stat only critical damage and ignore defense is max out all the gears are 25 with all the 5 and 6 star urus with some of the double hp odin's blessing and then the rest of the build is pretty normal and then we got the protect the captain iso set custom gear is the ctp of regen and then the uniform is a metric level so as far as the uh, team up goes we're utilizing the leadership of Ray Shi Hawk for the extra 25% of max HP and in addition to her passive the 30% of max HP which is very important to Hawk because he is a HP attack based unlike other characters and then Colossus just will be there for the damage reduction alright so let's get right into it Alright, so here we are. Let's do some warm up first. We're gonna do the manual testing. Just to be really honest to you guys, from my testing, I feel like Hawk is not really good when you're trying to allow the AI to control your Hawk. Unlike Jin Grey, Jin is still very strong even on Ultra Play mode. The AI keeps doing the Jin 5th skill, which is great. So I think it's still a good idea to use Jin on Ultra. But when it comes to Hawk, that is totally the opposite. Because the AI keeps doing the uh, basic skill and it's very very rare to see the AI is using the Hawk 5th skill and the Hawk 3rd skill which is very annoying because Hawk really depends on the damage from the 3rd skill but the AI just refused to do that so it's not really a good idea to use Hawk on auto play mode because most of the time you are going to lose which you can see that at the end of my video which is the second part of the video you can check out the timestamp here for the auto battle so you know exactly how stupid the AI is when the AI is trying to control your Hawk it's just very annoying on the other hand, when it comes to manual, Hawks still have the chance to defeat these characters which is great, he's very F2P friendly, so everyone can build him up or use him whenever it's necessary. So when you are playing your Hawk manually, what you have to do is to stick with the combo 5 and 3 of all the time. 5 for the iframe and 3 for the damage. And then of course, try to utilize a second skill. The damage is not bad as well, but you have to be really careful especially Nor is doing his second skill. His second skill kind of like the Sin Bio Explosion that Sin Bio can actually kill Hawk in an instant. So whenever you see Nor is doing his second skill, what you have to do is try to get away from him as far as possible or just try to use the fifth skill for the iframe. So that is the only special case you have to take note. Other than that, I think Hawk has done a fantastic job. The only disadvantage I would say about Hawk is that he doesn't have a revive. So that is the only disadvantage about Hawk. It means if he dies, he's dead. He's not gonna revive like Jean Grey or Silver Surfer. So that is something you have to take into your consideration whenever you are using your Hawk for timeline battle. So all in all, I think Hawk is still usable. It's still the top five or maybe top six among all of the PvP metas. The top one should be Sentry. Then number two should be Nor. Then Silver Surfer. My apologies for not able to show you guys how Hawk is playing against Silver Surfer because I think if I'm not mistaken, Silver Surfer is being banned in this week, which is kind of sad. Then number 4, we have Jean Grey. Number 5 should be the battle in between Molecule Man and Hawk. Uh, I'm not really sure who is deserving for the number 5 spot. Perhaps you guys can tell me your opinion in the comment box below. We can discuss together. So yeah, at the end of the day, Hawk is still usable, very good for PvP, so don't sleep on Bruce Banner. That's all for the review. I believe you guys here to enjoy the content, enjoy the gameplay. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the gameplay and take care.
Remember how you held me thin Now you've got me reaching out Got me falling in more times than I can get out. Falling in more times than I can get out. 